developing news right now. The SWAT team called in to search for a suspect in a shooting that left one person in critical condition. Michelle Fisher is live on the scene this morning with what we know. Michelle? Well, Kate, we know this all happened when a group of about seven or eight people got into an argument here on Dahone Street around 7.30 last night. Police saying that they know who pulled out a gun and fired one shot, but this morning they are still looking for that individual. This is what things looked like for several hours in the Shirley Avenue neighborhood as investigators searched for that suspected gunman. Onlookers in the neighborhood were seen taking cell phone videos stunned by the large police presence that involved both state police and the Revere Police SWAT team. Revere's police Chief, police chief spoke and says that the suspect fired a single shot and a video he says helped to quickly identify who pulled the trigger. We're pretty sure we know who the shooter is. We're actually sweeping the building where he lives behind us, the SWAT team. Uh, if he's in the building, if not, we'll do some more legwork during the night and we'll get an arrest warrant for his arrest. Well, that building here at 9 Dahone Street that you're seeing right now turned out to be unoccupied, but police tell us they do have one person in custody that was arrested for being an accessory after the fact. As for the victim, sources tell WBZ's I team that that person was shot in the torso, and again, we do know he is in critical condition, but police not saying what the relationship is between the suspect and the victim. Reporting live in Revere, I'm Michelle Fisher, WBZ This Morning.